Schön sein. I'm not gonna wait to speak, you just have to forgive me for uh, just panting like a predator. Um, so I don't know what happened, but I got in like the best shape I've been in for like probably years, you know, probably at least a few years. I think the like routine that you're forced into when you have a kid worked in my favor a lot, right? I'm gonna pause this track because I don't wanna turn it down because it's actually sick. Um, Cause now all of a sudden, you work into like bath times, right? And bedtimes and shit. So then you work back from that and you're like, so I've got to have my dinner at this time. So I have to train at this time. And your whole schedule just becomes like way more regimented. If you plan on actually getting everything done, which I do. You also have way less spare time to like root around your cupboards and smash random bowls of Cocoa Pops in the middle of the day. So that's helped as well. But yeah, just been fucking getting my head down doing my sessions mostly in here, like 90% of my sessions in here now. Um, just eating pretty normally, to be honest. And uh, psh, honestly feel like pretty, well, it's not the best as well, whatever, but I feel like pretty, pretty mad Nick, you know what I mean? So there's that. Anyway, you would be, you would be forgiven for thinking this is a fitness channel. Let's move on. Let's try this track again. What is it? Let's show you what it is. Boosh, is that? So I'm on a Scorpios Mykonos playlist. I see a belter for training, you know. Let's do it. mode activated. Bounce out man. Kid on the front. Nappies in the back. Perfect. Core stability. See you Mr. Windy for you. All right, exposure wise. You're fine, yeah. Background's obviously overexposed, but it's good for you. All right, sound. Yo, we saw a TikTok of a sushi place in Manchester, new sushi calf, and uh, it looked sick. So we're gonna try it. All that aquarium made me want seafood. So that's where we're going. It's called One Sushi on Oxford Road. I'm sure is that must be a new flavour, right? I'm sure the other the last mm. one was like a citrus thing. Yeah, you usually only get the citrus one. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is new, isn't it? This one, the rare as fuck. Oh, it's new. It tastes like the uh, the non-zero one. Yeah, nice. What a find. The sushi was dead good. Yeah, really good. Dead good. Highlights with the seared wagyu, the seared eel, 
Only the second time I've had eel. Good both times. But maybe it's just the sear. You sear anything, it's gonna be fucking great, mate. Honestly, you could take a piece of shit and sear it with a blowtorch. It would be still a piece of shit, but... What do you think of Mags' new hair? <sighs> new hair, new me. The mom cut. Shut up the mom cut. It's hot, I think. It's fresh, man. My hair made from friends. Fresh. Anyway, we splashed out. Not on the sushi, on a fucking £3.50 cookie. Three fifty. Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. 75 I've changed one. Let's try it. Do you know what? I'm going to take my jacket off. I feel like I can't enjoy food with a jacket if I'm on. restricted, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've got one lens for this camera and it's it's a prime lens, which means it's got one Absolutely focal length. monstrous. Fuck me. Have to be careful, you don't fucking drop that on someone's head. Yeah. I need break a, it in half. I need a fucking plate or some shit. You don't want any napkinos. No. I can empty it. Dark. Well, can I break it over the box? Just so I don't literally, because oh, really? can't be asked paying for a pallet as well. <laughs> That makes it a really expensive cookie when you gotta get your car valeted afterwards. Why would you do it like that? Why would you break it so it wasn't gonna break it evenly? How could it break evenly? It's already got like tectonic plates on. There's a bit down there. It's already got the, the, the things one. Yeah, you have that one. No, you have that one. I'll have a bite of that then. Big bite. What's it saying? What do you think? Mm. Mm. It's saying quite a lot to be fair. To be fair, it's a really good cookie. Mm. You can't go wrong with just under baking a cookie, man. Do you know what I mean? It it's a cookie really on the cookie. outside, cookie dough on the inside. Do you remember the bad cookie, the really expensive cookie? Yeah, yeah, that like, was on the blog. This is like that look, looked like this. Yeah, that but was, did not deliver. Yeah, that, this is like this is a really good cookie. Mm. It, it tastes like a nice cookie. I think I still prefer like the ones that aren't like that deep yeah because that's generally my style of cookies like like a tesco not quite thing. got that girth they're really good though mm. how does the chocolate stay like is it like tempered or some shit nah it's tempered like bit, is the other way around it's like a bit wet in it doesn't melt it like stays like semi-melted you got way more chocolate than me no i'd buy it i that bit okay. warm i buy that that's what i mean break that off and then give that bit just have it all you know what can you just give me a wave a bit? Have that back. Mm. Go on. You want a bulk? Bulk starts today, mate. I've been thinking about a bulk. I don't trust myself, man. With a great bulk comes great responsibility. I just end up fat in like six weeks and then after you do a cut again. Story of my life, man. Today is the day. I'm starting a new tradition called... We haven't really got a good name for it yet. The description is bake shit on Sundays. We're kicking off with... Is there a difference between a cinnamon roll and a cinnamon bun? Or are they the same thing? We're making one of those because it's a personal favorite of mine. I've never really recovered since Costco stopped doing theirs. They stopped doing Costco cinnamon roll buns about five years ago. Probably more than five years ago, actually. But they were the best things ever. Anyway, we're gonna make some. We got a little helper, man. On the advisory committee, strapped in, ready to take off on Apollo 17. Right then. <laughs> Is that get me out of here, baby? What's first? Put your flour, sugar, and sea salt in a bowl. Now let's get what past not kissing him. He's the best, isn't he? He's the best. Right, how much of everything? Why is brown sugar always at work? Oh, you've done that joke. Everyone's heard that joke before. What? That joke. What joke? Why is brown sugar always at work? You when we made me cookies. Joke? <laughs> yeah. What are you on about? What are you on about? What a joke? Where's the fucking punchline? I don't know. It's an observation. I'm just fucking saying it. I don't know. You're calling me out. Fuck off. I feel like you're saying it's trying to be funny about it. You're funny. You're it looks wet. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying is you've, you've, you've basically done this observation before where everyone, everyone's heard you. Alright, well, forgive me for saying the same thing twice years apart. Wasn't. Was Easter when you've been here cooking? Alright, Easter, whatever. It is wet, it doesn't just look wet. Alright, so if we've got any more observations, I'll just run them by you. Yeah. Should I heat the milk up? Yeah! Oh my god, you've got 235 bang on, that's so good, I love that. Oh, like, Sick pleasures. Nice. Trap macros too much on. What else goes in there? Flour. Muscovado, do we need muscovado? Oh, is this the filling? What? Oh, oh, oh it's granulated sugar. 
would you put brown in then? You just said sugar, man, and then the first thing I came to was brown sugar. We do need that much sugar, just not in there now. We're doing this recipe here. 107 grams of granulated sugar, that's abstract, man. 580 grams, Christ. It's a lot of flour, man. What are you thinking, mister? You want a good wriggle? Let's try and escape. Six grams of salt. I think I just put a bit too much salt in. I put nine grams instead of six. Well, salt actually is an issue because it'll fill the yeast. I'll just scoop a bit. Shit, I just dropped it. And it's fine, isn't it? It'll be fine. Yeast be yeasting. Get a bit closer on that. I'm on a cafe, that's how I look at him as well. Daddy's crazy. It's one of the most XL bullies, one. <laughs> is that bad? It's people died, man. Yeah, leave that. So, first hurdle, it's not looking great. Dough looks a lot too wet, man. Like, you can't knead that. I don't know what to do, really, because I'm just going to start throwing flour in willy nilly. We'll see. Stand by. Maybe you'll get it better as I mix it, man. Alright, so. What? Well, one sec. Sorry, just sidetracked because uh, I think my three month old can walk now. So we were supposed to leave this dough to prove for an hour and a half, it's supposed to double in size. And uh, after an hour, it was roughly the exact same size. So we've obviously fucked something up, the yeast isn't activated. Um, maybe I put a bit too much salt in, I was a bit, a bit liberal with the salt. Who knows, I don't know, I'm not a baker. Mags is, but she still doesn't know. Anyway, I'm trying to save it by putting it in the oven with boiling water underneath the, so the steam like warms up and activates it. <laughs> and if that fails, I'm gonna mix in more yeast, which means more flour. My ratio is gonna be off. It's a big fuck up. We're falling at the first hurdle. Sunday's ruined, but I'll keep you updated. What just general sentiment is I'm fuming about it because I really wanted a cinnamon roll, but looks like I'm not gonna get one. Big fuck up. I ended up adding more yeast. I think me water or milk wasn't hot enough. The yeast just didn't activate right. So I tried again, it proved for a bit. It did actually start to get a bit bigger, not much though. It's probably gonna be shit. I'm just gonna fucking bake it anyway because I'm this far, so whatever. End of the day, you put in sugar, butter and flour together and stick it in the oven, it's gonna be fine. Man. So just doing a bit of a layer. That's a lot of sugar actually. And I'm gonna roll these up and stick them in, so I'll show you later. This is not how you transport a fucking, <laughs> looks like a fucking whale. <laughs> Fucking penis, man. Hey, you use a bread knife. Reckon that's big enough? Yeah. I'm definitely supposed to do this with like a cheese string or something. I don't want to speak too soon. They actually look decent like they're in the oven now and they are rising which means yeast must be doing something right i'm gonna show you wow it's like proper caramelized oh my god that's gonna be naughty 